From ClarkWids.com, this is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 158. I am Chris, and he is Heavy Sigh. And I, no, that wasn't a sigh. That was more of a, I'm about to talk, <laughs> but so you didn't do the thing that you normally do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I start over? No, that's fine. I, 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 it was kind of what I intended. Oh, okay. And you could just play the song for a little bit longer, I suppose. Bit longer, yeah, you know. And no one will know the wise. No one will be the wiser, except yeah. for right now they are. Right wise. now they are. No, so I won't play the song a little bit longer. It'll, I'll just, it'll fade out at the same point, and and, and then there'll be dead air, and people are like, "Why is my podcast broken?" I, the, and then I'll change the channel. No, no, you can't change the channel on a podcast, Steve. I mean, you can hit skip, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. That's one of the things about podcasts that's mm. different than 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 the radio, mm. because, I mean, when um, when we were learning, well, it's not like we learned. When you were learning when we were when we were learning how to do. When college, you were a young lad. When we were when we were younger, learning how to do college radio, mm-hmm. and learning in very much air quotes, <laughs> just sitting with somebody that's doing a radio show and right. just kind of like watching them do it, and yeah. you know. Watching the masters, that's how that's how it was done for yeah, I mean, centuries and centuries. I mean the people that I that I trained under uh mm. at the radio station, I don't even remember their goddamn names. Uh, yeah. But um they easier to train under someone than strain under someone, if you know what I'm saying. What take a poop while someone's <laughs> sitting on you? I don't understand what that means. <laughs> no, to strain under someone. Like if you're if you're the bottom and you're straining under them, that's that's not it. You know, if they're if you're training under them, that that I think implies a certain amount of um, them trying to help you out. Whereas if you're if you're straining, maybe it's a test. You know what? All right. So you're training under someone. Yes, and then they they they, they teach you the basics. They uh, as far as like you know don't don't leave dead air you know yeah, yeah. don't say those things that are on the seven words well it was more than that oh, okay. um which which was like there was a big list right in front of the microphone because <laughs> so i mean don't who would have thunk that a drunk steve might have said every single one of those words in a row in a row <laughs> mm. i would never think that i i don't i i, I can't i've not, i you know Imagining what a drunk Steve would do, it's it's hard. I mean, there was plenty of times where I, I, I caught myself. And I, I think I've told this story on the show before, but I remember mm-hmm. we had uh, our our uh, fundraiser for the radio station. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it was basically at Pizzeria Uno's in Framey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we were giving out these little coupons so that 20% of everybody's bill would go to um, go to our uh, go to the radio station. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, we're, we're all there having some dinner and having some yeah. drinks. And I, I must have had uh, – because I wanted to make sure a, a decent amount of my drinking budget went to the, the college this week right. as opposed to just to Bennigan's or whatever. Yeah. And or, or Uno's. Or, well, I didn't typically go to Uno's. Oh, okay. All right, this right. was why. Yeah. Um, and I must have had, uh, I think, eight tall Killians. Killian. That's they, a, were, the, they were two bucks a pop. And yeah. so, like, Ooh. 20 ounces, so eight of those. Is that like a low-rent uh, Irish beer? Like, if you it's can't like, It's like your... fake Irish beer, because it's made yeah. in the United States. Okay, yeah. Um, a Guinness. It's not a Guinness. It's, it's like not it's, a Guinness. It's, it, yeah, but it's like a low rent Guinness. I, well, it's no Guinness is 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 a different kind of beer. Oh, it's okay. a stout, and then uh, yeah, a red is a sort of I don't know closer closer to a lager than mm, than, okay. than I imagine anything else. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 um, my brain was in the gutter there. I was I was like a, a red is closer to a lager. Um, and I was thinking, uh, period blood. What? No, no. I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, that that's something that might've been said way back in the day with, uh, with, when people were a lot more racist than they are now. Uh, it just may be racist in different ways, uh, well, where they would say red referring to a native American and then logger. Um, that must've been a really long time ago because, you know, up until like the fifties uh, or mm. like fifties on, like yeah. we were referring to reds as, as, as communists. Oh, that's true. That's true. So that was that, those are old, what, old, what old is, timey racists. What is wrong with the with the color red? I just like you, you know. It's it's, so, it's that the 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 Chinese and the Russians both hmm. like embraced red as as. Their well, no, colors. I know, but if but but um, what I'm saying is that before that they used red as, for for the red man, meaning uh, meaning Native Americans, meaning the indigenous population of of this here uh, continent, right? And then red. 
uh, st- they stopped using it, refer to them, but then like red. I guess it's a coincidence that red just you know ends up being the being a bad color. And right. maybe it all ties. Maybe that all ties into the the way that our country uh, hates and, and denigrates women is the, the the color of their their period blood. To bring it back to what you were saying, that oh, red sorry. is just red is the color of uh, uh, of evil. Right. And may, in this country, maybe that's maybe that's what what it will forever be. I mean, we know that the the current president is a uh, um, uh, was a student of uh, of uh, Roy Cohn, who was famous for hunting down the Reds in uh, the, the Reds, meaning the communists. I don't yeah, know. but why, why is he okay with, with Putin then? Because uh, maybe he wasn't a red. There were reds and whites. That's what I remember. Like, they, they, were, they, were, they were the in the Russian Revolution, something like that. Well, Putin is, is, is relatively young. In, he's relatively white, too. Oh, he's very white. He's, <laughs> I saw him without his shirt in a picture recently. Did you go Del- blind? Yes. <laughs> was he in the back of a horse? I'm surprised I was able to, to get and open this beer because mm. I, I Cause couldn't. Because the, the sunlight gleaming off of his, uh, his, his bearish nip- Russian chest. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of hair on that man. Uh, I mean, not on top, but, but chest, chesticles. Yeah, not, not that much. No? I mean, I definitely okay. have more hair on my chest. Oh, then... Yeah. I don't 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 let don't let him uh, catch you saying that. I, I do. He'll, he'll, I guess uh, that means I'm more manly. I mean, if the Russians are listening, to, if the Reds are listening to this right now, I mean, but we determined he's not a Red. Yeah, he's a White. He's a White. I don't know what any of that means. I know that my grandmother, um, they were trying to figure out why my grandmother's parents left Poland when they did, um, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they knew even less about history than I do, um, they tried to tie it into the the Russian Revolution, and and they tried to explain it to me once when I was a kid that they were um, uh, that they were white Russians and they were fl- fleeing from the uh, from the from the Red Russians or, or some damn thing. And I think that all of that is is probably not well, only Poland horseshit, is a different country. Chris. Poland was not no Poland was part of Russia. Poland was part of Germany. Poland was not its own country for a large part of its existence. Well, I'm glad that now Poland is its own country. Now that my relatives all got uh, got the fuck out of there. Yeah. Because yeah. America, America. Um yeah, no, it's its own country. I'd like to go I'd like to go there someday. See where my uh in downtown Warsaw yeah, it's Warsaw. Yeah, where my, uh, that, where my that is the capital. Well, no, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember if that's where it was that my grandfather was. My great grandmother, grandfather was born, and my great grandmother was born in Lithuania. Yeah, just don't run into a turnip truck or anything. Mm. Not, don't, don't, don't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not joking. That that actually happened to a friend of mine in Poland. Yes, in Poland. Wow. Did he did he travel over there on a on a submarine with a screen door? I mean, that's, you know. So back, that's, back that's to the they, topic at hand before we get more into politics. Wait, was there a topic? <laughs> yes. Okay. We were talking about me drinking too much. Oh. <laughs> he says with three beers lined up in front of him. Yeah, I only have one of them open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we still have... Uh, well, th- I usually drink two tall boys. Okay. And these... These, these are, are, are taller tall- boys. These, these are, are like basketball players. These, these are, are like Shaquille O'Neal. All right, so... Tall boy is sixteen ounces. Mm-hmm. These these glass bottle beers are twelve ounces. So oh. sixteen and sixteen. What's that? Um, that is more than thirty two. Okay, and what's uh, twelve times three? Twelve times three is thirty six. Okay, so it's approximately the same amount of beer. So you're talking like these are not shacks. These are like Penny Hart. No, I don't know how, how tall tall he was. Uh, like Spud Webb. I think Spud Webb was short. Doesn't that sound like a that, that sounds like a short guy, right? It sounds like a potato man. <laughs> I don't know. I think there, there was some there was some short basketball player. It's like one of those guys. Whereas your normal guys are like your 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 uh, your Shaquille Sh- 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 O'Neal's. <laughs> what did you, you had, put you, in my drink? Vodka, <gasps> Russian. There's Russian in my drink. It's it's made in Massachusetts. It's Massachusetts vodka. It's must Massachusetts. This isn't like 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 champagne. Russian. It's not like champagne where you can, you have to call it sparkling wine when it's made outside of uh, of France. This is like mm. you, if you make vodka anywhere, it, it's still going to be called vodka. You think uh, Putin approves of that? I I doubt it. I, I think he and, would. And, I and, think he would say if it's not made in Russia, it's uh, it's fucking fermented potatoes. Isn't that what it's made out of? Uh, sometimes it's made out oh, of okay. potatoes. <laughs> sometimes made out of potatoes. I think uh, the uh, what was it the the, the Tito is I think is made out of potatoes. Oh okay. <laughs> so um, I drank eight. Eight. And we're talking about ounces here. Mm. Eight. Uh, eight tall Killians, which is twenty ounces a piece. Yeah. 
So how many ounces is that? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, eight, quizzing eight, you on eight, math eight, problems here. I, this this could be the end of the show here. My head might explode. Well, you're doing I, good I, so far. Eight, eight times what? Eight how? Eight times twenty. Eight times twenty would be uh, three hundred and twenty. No. What? <laughs> Eight times twenty would be one hundred and sixty. There you go. So one hundred and sixty. How yeah. much? How many ounces in a gallon? How many? I have no idea. One hundred and twenty-eight. One hundred and twenty-eight. So, so you... I drank more than a gallon of beer. Mm. Always a good thing. <laughs> Probably close to a gallon and a half of beer. Yeah. Uh, and then I went and did my radio show. Ah. Not before getting a forty at the <laughs> liquor store. And then going up to the station. So that's kind of like having a um, a, a whole milk jug full of alcohol. So this would be 200 ounces of beer, basically, and then I consumed that evening. You, you'd already had the milk jug full of alcohol, and you went and you got a pint. Um, no, a pint? A quart? A quart. You got like a quart, like one of those but one of those babies on the way. Can you imagine drinking that much milk? You can't. You can't? You can't do that. I, I, I'm sure somebody out there has done it. You cannot drink a gallon of milk. You can't drink a gallon? No, I, people Steve, cannot get, drink, drink a gallon of milk, Don't Chris. tell me what I can and cannot do. Okay. All right, John Locke. <laughs> Um, no, you can't because you your body... You know nothing, Steve Woodbury. Your body, your body can't take that much lactose. And mm. so you will start vomiting, mm. like probably... Maybe about halfway through the gallon. Halfway through the gallon. I, if you like, there's many many clips online of people doing the milk gallon challenge. Oh, I did not know this. And um, I, thought, I, I thought. think I think I'm not sure if anybody's actually done it. I think maybe someone did. Yeah. But uh, there's a good chance that there's a lot of failures online of mm. people um, throwing up like complete white or maybe white and red because your stomach starts bleeding or something like a that. A true Russian. Before they split them in two. White and reds. White and reds. It would be pink. <laughs> Pinko commies. Oh, is that, my is God. Is that where that comes from? Maybe. They're, 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 they're let's, Russians. let's just say it, it. that's where it comes from so without that, doing any research. Those, those are Russians who couldn't decide. They were they were not loyal. They were like the little fingers. Of the, they were oh, loyal to whatever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, during this particular show, um, I was really intoxicated. And then I said, um, we need to get some effing i did not say fucking you said effing i said effing mm. we need to get some effing pussy in here <laughs> <laughs> now can you say pussy on the radio i don't think so okay. i can think that say- was one of the words on the list that we weren't supposed to say yeah but it was after 10 so okay okay so pussy after 10 is okay but pussy <laughs> before 10 not so much not well so i don't much. think it, i don't think it's okay but like any sort of uh if the if the FCC was listening, mm. uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been that severe. Yeah, yeah. Of, a, of a. Can you imagine being the guy who has to stay up? The FCC guy who has to stay up and listen to college radio. From like I, I don't think that, that that person exists, Chris, <laughs> because like the amount of times that we we swore, yeah. or accidental accidentally or intentionally, yeah. uh, or said something like we need some effing pussy in the studio, yeah. Um, yeah, mm. maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. I, I mean, maybe that guy. Didn't, I don't think people like paid enough. I, we, I occasionally would get kids that uh, from framing him uh, high that would do, you know, especially like like we would still you do would get kids from framing him high to listen to the show. Oh, kids from Framingham High School to listen to the show. You didn't get I didn't kids get from them to Framingham do it. I didn't high. I didn't get them. No. No, I didn't get because Framingham's in Massachusetts, and not in New Hampshire. New Hampshire is the drug infested den. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> no, um, we won't. Yeah, I think we should because, like, <laughs> all right. Sorry, you, you, you. I, maybe, so, like, maybe. I would get people f- that 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 were high school students in Framingham listening to my show. Okay, like because like the, uh, I would do the show over the summer. Yeah, like which is absurd. Mm. I, I guess I just wanted consistency, or I just wanted an excuse to to. You know, to get on the radio, to get on the radio, you, you and wanted you wanted regularity. Steve. Yeah, so regularity is very good for you. Yeah, some people need like brand for that and shit. Yeah, I mean we we're usually pretty regular recording on a Sunday, but last week was an exception. We yes. recorded on a Tuesday. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, shit happens, I, especially I, if you're regular. I thought that last week's show was really good. I I agree. I thought it was uh, I thought it was a it was a pleasure. 
to uh, to to I, a pleasure for me. A pleasure for me. I mean, it was they, how how many times do you get to uh, to get put put a picture of a, a guy with um, his machete arm uh, missing, sitting in front the of the guy. Him. Looked kind of like mellow for he considering did. what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. He and and why was he allowed to take a picture, sort of sitting on the police cruiser? <laughs> He's like, hey, can you guys snap a pic here? <laughs> Yeah, why not? We're gonna take you to jail, anyways. Um, he was just—he was just chilling, <laughs> chilling while I got arrested, chilling like a villain. He kind of looked a little bit like Becky's um, sister's boyfriend, but he wasn't Becky. I won't. Sister. I won't. I won't say. I won't say names. No, 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 and no, and people don't know Becky's last name, anyways. Yeah, so. but but it wasn't Becky's sister's boyfriend. No, it wasn't. No, okay. he has both arms, <laughs> and he's not a juggalo. <laughs> Oh, what? When is this stuff with clowns going to end? I just, I don't, I don't. Well, it is coming out soon, isn't it? So it's going to get even worse. Is it, what you're saying? I heard, like, what was it? They, they, they have that movie coming out, and they had what was it? The Dark Tower just came out. Yeah, apparently I, not very good. I heard people uh, didn't like it. Mm-mm. When, are, when, when are they going to get that st- stuff right? I mean, they just got to go back to whoever it was that made the stand on TV way back in the day. And the just the have... stand on TV was garbage. <laughs> You don't think there was anything redeeming about the stand? There is the plenty <laughs> that's redeeming, but only if you watched it originally back then. If you watch it originally now, you're like, what the fuck is this garbage? Well, because the effects and shit are bad. I'm saying if you got the person who was in charge of the story. Yeah, it's Stephen King. <laughs> no, I don't think Stephen King wrote the screenplay or the, the, I don't tel- know. He the might teleplay. Have, he might have been some somehow involved. Well, he was. I mean, he was that guy with the with the weird accent who... Uh, you mean um, the main accent in Colorado, in Col- in Colorado at Colorado. the end of the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think we've talked about The Stand enough that that should be part of the drinking game. Yeah, if we, if we talk about <laughs> The Stand miniseries from 1994... You definitely have to drink. <laughs> I just think, I mean, I know they're coming out with a, um, what is it? There is some sort of series. I don't know if it's called Castle Rock or it's some sort of series that's in one of the towns that King writes about a lot. And, it, and it's going to supposedly bring a lot of that stuff together. And I think, like, Stephen King's whole thing, given how good TV is now or how TV can, good TV can be, I think would be much better suited for an HBO series that just yeah, like, like the Dark Tower, isn't it like fucking seven books or something like, like that? The Dark Tower, yeah, the Dark Tower was insane. But like, think about like a series that somehow brought it all together, some sort of anthology series that was like everything King, and maybe one whole season was um, was one of his novels. Was one of his novels? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just think, and that fucking that shit could go on forever. Like, yeah. um, or, or you get a couple of them. You, you sign a deal with fucking Netflix and you do what Marvel did with their, um, uh, with their Netflix series. Um, and you get a couple of different showrunners and you go through King's whole oeuvre and you just like, you bring characters back and forth. I don't know. Well, the guy, the guy writes like, has written like a, f- he's like written, he's almost written. everything that he's, he's written has been adapted into like yeah. some sort of other media. Yeah, and and for better or worse, I mean, a lot of it. For, some of it, some of it, like uh, what was it? The Mist. Um, Do you yeah. remember that one? I don't. I never saw it, but I've. It that one was really great. Yeah, like yeah. it was a great like, except for the end. The end kind of. I don't know if the end in the book was different, but mm. like the end of the. Actually, no. Maybe the end was good. I don't even fucking remember. Well, you have good feelings about it. Yeah, I like yeah. I I like I I remember what like because. I, I, I believe we actually went to see that in the theater. Mm. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised. I yeah. was like, well, you know, it, it was adapted from a Stephen King novel. Right. So, you know, you never know what to think because, you know, sometimes it'll be, um, I'm trying to think of a, of, of a bad one. Um, well, he doesn't like The Shining, but... Um, the Shining is fucking fantastic. Yeah. Um, mm. That, well, we already talked about the stand. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what a really. Bad I'm, I'm sure that like I've seen ones that were just kind of. It's Pet eh, Cemetery. Eh, Pet I Cemetery. I, I didn't see it when it first came out. Yeah. So I, I uh, you know, I, I kind of like it. Yeah, I see. Uh, uh, and then Pet Cemetery Two. I don't know if that was the Stephen King was any way involved, or yeah, if, that, if th- that has anything to do, or if it was just like a sequel that he may have written or right. I, I don't like, I didn't, I didn't know if What's like the name of the, uh, Oh, misery, 
Misery was I, I I watched Misery a lot when I was uh, when I was young. That so was maybe the, there's a lot more hits and a, uh, than yeah. a lot less misses than I was. Ex- yeah, I, was I don't thinking. know, but I like I'm afraid to watch something like um, the because it was good. The miniseries, it the mini uh, is that the one with Tim Curry? Yeah, yeah. I never I've never seen that one. I haven't either, but every, like everybody says, it's it's great, hmm. and you so know t- it's it. probably because of Tim Curry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I. I'm afraid to watch um, the Hulu 112263 because I really loved that book. Oh, yeah. We, we watched that. But, um, um, but you guys liked it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Yeah. So I don't know. I think, I think he's... I just feel like with somebody like that, they keep trying to redo them. And obviously, he keeps allowing it to... Allowing them to be redone. What I... Can't help but wonder. See, opening is it, up the beer like isn't just as satif- satisfying no. when it's a bottle. Yeah, it doesn't. Have you don't. To, yeah, you I mean, I imagine crack. there was a little bit of sound in there the background. Was a if someone was listening on headphones, they might have been able to hear like it. Like me, I, I heard it. You heard it, but like, yeah. but if someone's listening in their car or yeah. like you know, sort of half listening at work, then mm. you might not be able to hear uh, hear yeah. the, the the beer opening. It's it's a very sad thing. You know, so I don't know if you should do bottles in the future. I do typically don't but these these were a gift oh or okay. not a gift but uh it was helping a friend of ours uh work on her resume and she brought she brought me a 12 pack and Can't uh, say no to that. i was productive at helping her with her resume up to a certain point and then i had too many of these <laughs> and i was no longer helpful <laughs> So there's a certain point at which uh, the Gansets uh, are, are counterproductive to uh, to product. I don't think it's just Gansets. I think it's alcohol in general. Alcohol in general. Okay. Well, maybe I should drink this slower. This uh, this. No, I mean it's fine. It's fine for talking. For, it, it, <laughs> for talking. It does. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't. Uh, doesn't impede the the. the sp- I got a little. You got a throat bubble. Yeah, uh, doesn't have a sip of your the, alcohol uh, beverage <laughs> to, to get rid of my throat bubble. Yeah, um, it doesn't impede the 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 tongue, uh, the lips, the teeth, the tongue, um, dancing across one another to to spell Lolita. Lolita. It's like that's like a mangled line from the beginning of of that book. Of Lolita. Of Lolita by uh, by um, Nabokov. Yeah, Nabokov by. <laughs> <laughs> like that book by now. Have you have you seen the uh the film <laughs> Young Teacher? Um no, I have not. No. It's 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 uh I haven't read the book, but uh mm. the, the the film is is I, I thought it was going to be a lot uh, not necessarily raunchy or anything, mm-hmm. uh, but I thought it was going to be a lot more scandalous than it was. Yeah. I imagine it was for the time. Right. <sighs> Pardon. I well, it's funny you say like we're that. We're just like film nuts today. Yeah. Well, it's I, so I have been. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just was, laughing at what I just said. Was she was she older in that than? Uh, well, you have, have you I read the she, book? Uh, no, but I okay. think she was 14 in the in the okay. in the in the film. Yeah, that, that's probably right. So so one of the things that I'm that this brings to mind is. Um, I had picked up uh, for iBooks, um, uh, so I can read it on my phone, a, um, a copy of the first uh, in the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R.R. R. Martin, which is the book that's actually called A Game of Thrones, which is what the, the HBO series is named after. It's named after the very first book. Wiener. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and so I've been reading that, and one of the things that strikes me in the first 150 pages or so that I've read um, is how much younger all of the all of the protagonists are in the book than they are in the series. At least as far as I can tell, maybe they were meant to be younger in the series, and I just didn't realize it. Um, they all looked like they were at least in their late teens, if not early 20s, when the series began. Um, and well, uh, Bran was definitely a little. Well, Bran, kid. Bran <laughs> seems closer to Bran and Rickon and Arya and Sansa all seem closer to what they are in the books, right? But um, or this book. Uh, God, we're getting emails about this. Um, is there anybody out there who's read these? Who's I gonna, don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, so but but Rob and John in particular um, are younger in the books. They're like. 14, 15, 16 or so. In the, they're not that much older than the other kids. Um, Jesus Christ. And, and so 
it's really it's i'm so, surprised i mean like the, the the only reason there's still starks around in the series mm-hmm. is because they fucked so much <laughs> Um, so but one of, that's one of the things that I think about is like in the books he can get away with um, all sorts of stuff uh, regarding the um, regarding the sex regarding the whatever that's the violence the the mature themes that would be appropriate to the time period right appropriate to medieval times or, or whatever which he it's, is it's, what he's referencing yeah, it's, even it's, though it's, it's even yeah, though it's, it's a not, different world it's not a historical drama um, but he's definitely referencing <laughs> I mean who knows maybe he he's he's a time traveler oh. and, he, and like this is what the world used to look like maybe and he's having such a difficult time writing it because he's cashing in on all the whenever well, never mind. His time travel machine is his, his his floaty ball person carrier is breaking down. Yeah, it's it's not working as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I going back to what you said about Lolita. Although you think you think that you know with all the money he's making from uh from all the HBO cash that's flowing in, he'd yeah. be able to fix his his floaty time machine. You would think, and then he gave. Or maybe the, maybe 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 it's not in the past. It's, it's in the future. Oh, see, that's fucking Terry Brooks. See, and I, when I realized that, that shit, like I didn't, maybe it's just because I was a dumb kid when I read Terry Brooks's Shannara series. It never occurred to me that that was taking place way, way post-apocalypse. I thought it was just another um, fantasy uh, story, uh, a, a, an easier to read fantasy version of, um, of of Lord of the Rings. My friends were reading Lord of the Rings. That was too complicated for me. I read Terry Brooks. I did not think about Terry Brooks as taking place after an apocalypse. And then later on, he came out and said, yep, it takes place after a big a- apocalypse. Do, 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 do you know that uh, the Doomsday Clock is closest to midnight than it's ever been since the Cold War? Since uh, Since Watchmen? No, I mean like it's it exists. This is Does a real. It really? It's a real thing. I I just know it from. Watching. And it's it's closest to midnight since I think maybe uh, the Bay of Pigs crisis, because of all the all the pinkos. <laughs> um, oh goodness. Uh, so, so anyway, so I wonder whether adaptations of stuff like this, like Game of Thrones, or like um, Lolita, suffer from the fact that a a book can get away with all sorts of quote-unquote indecency that a film or a TV series can't because there are laws around film and TV series. Like, I can't remember in the first season, the first couple episodes of Game of Thrones, who ends up, who ends up with the red-headed um, uh, prostitute who's, like, just outside the, the castle walls. One of the boys does. Um, do, they t- do they take John there and he doesn't actually do it? Or, or so- I, I, I do... Sh- Shit, I like. It's I'd so have to rewatch. Ago. Yeah, like. But, but I feel like they adjust the the ages. One does that. not simply remember shit from the first <laughs> season of Game of Thrones. Um, I, but I feel like they age up some of those characters so that they can actually have them be in a in that scene with a with a naked lady with her boobies out. Like they, um, they can't have an actual fourteen year old do that. They can have somebody who's eighteen or nineteen or twenty. Yeah, I mean, but like you know, the the actors that were in Saved by the Bell, uh, you know, at the beginning, mm. I imagine were were still underage by but but by the end of the series, I imagine they were all over eighteen. Oh yeah, I mean that's... they were playing slightly younger than they were. Yeah, and then that's how Elizabeth Berkeley graduates right from Bayside to. Uh... <laughs> I was I was fucking pa- Vegas and I, w- I was uh, packing girls. a little bit today and mm. I, I was uh, packing heat no packing packing fudge packing boxes packing for mud. for moving okay uh, and I I was I came across my um, unpacking my, my my Super Nintendo games SNES SNES games and there was a game called Arcana and I think your brother had it mm. and uh, I, I have a copy of it like because the summer of my layoff oh. I needed to do something to yeah. to make it so my life wasn't completely miserable, mm-hmm. and so I was occasionally picking up a uh, a uh, an old Super Nintendo RPG. Yeah, and uh, and, um, and play, playing playing it, uh, you know, for you know finding it someplace at a reasonable price, like right. like not not on eBay either, just like mm. going around and yeah. like finding shit. Like it was it was like actually a, somewhat of an adventure, mm. like geocaching with with Super Nintendo games. <laughs> Everybody so, does that. Yeah, it's, it's common. But uh, so I have a copy of it, and um, it like the the woman on the cover of it. I, actually, it's it's in that box over there. Remind me 
before you leave and I will show you it and you and you can look at this woman on the, on the front of mm, of, of, of Arcana. Arcana and tell me it doesn't look just like Jesse Spano. <laughs> <laughs> You might have to use that as the as the image for this particular episode. Yeah, I, well, I perhaps just like yeah. the, the what was it? Uh, Fabio was on Iron Sword, like the uh, okay yeah. Wizards and Warriors too. Iron Sword. Yeah. Fabio was the was the uh, was the, the warrior. Was the warrior? Or was he a wizard? He was a warrior. He was a, warrior. <laughs> he had a big old sword. I don't know. It's what not the, the fuck si- are we talking? Not, oh it's yeah, not the size of your sword, Steve. It's it's how many uh, bastards you impale on it. But the, there's there's shitloads of 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 like epic series that uh, mm. are being adapted. And this will bring up something that we didn't talk about last week. Mm. Uh, but, you know, I think needs to be talked about. Mm. But first I'll talk about something else. Okay. So the Wheel of Time, I, like uh, everybody's familiar. Well, not everybody is Robert familiar. Jordan. Robert Jordan, you know, he uh, had a series. He died. Someone else finished it. Brandon it's, Sanderson. Bra- yes, Brandon, Brad- Brandon Sanderson. Yes. S- Sanderson. I've, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. He finished it up. Uh, series is over, and mm-hmm. um, I'm surprised that the series has not been adapted to some sort. Especially with Game of Thrones being so popular, I'm, su- right. I'm surprised like Showtime didn't immediately like jump yeah. on it. Well, MTV jumped on. I don't know if they've renewed it for a second season. The Shannara books, the Terry Brooks books, and I don't know if that series did very well. Um, so, like, there are places out there looking to swallow these things up, but I don't know if they can duplicate. Or like well, HBO or not stuff. not necessarily just Showtime, but like Netflix, because yeah. like um, at least earlier on in in, in the series, mm. the the Wheel of Time is is pretty PG thirteen. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not something that uh, that that is that has to be raunchy. That has mm-hmm. to have like some big titted whore <laughs> in the first episode. <laughs> It, it's something that that uh, in fact it would be really odd if it had uh, if it had that if yeah. it had that if, if, like, or if Kanye the Giant showed up yeah if there I, if there was Trollocs I'd be like oh that's a thing mm. and but uh you know yeah but yeah so so that should that be that that I mean it's it's it, somebody is going to be doing it I don't mm. know who uh, like there was this thing a couple of years ago that was shown on FXX mm. in the middle of the fucking night yeah which was basically the 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 pre, um, just like the the prelude to the actual book oh okay like the uh, pre, uh, prelude is not the right word for it uh, I don't um, want to say preface because it's like yeah. it's a chapter before the first chapter. What do you fucking uh, call that? Well, that's, uh, that's the a person um, that writes prologue. Prologue. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the prologue. The, they basically adapted that mm-hmm. into like a thirty-minute something. Yeah, and it was not good. <laughs> but I think it, like they had to. Uh, yeah. I think it was it was a rights thing. Oh right, they that, had that to do somebody that in order to somebody keep had the rights. the rights to to uh, to producing like. You know, a wheel of time, something. This is why we have every Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> Fox wants to keep the rights. I thought Sony had the rights. Fox has the Fantastic Four rights. Oh, along with the with the X Men. Sony has the Spider Man rights. Okay, so then Sony's more more uh, willing to play ball. Yeah, with, they're with, in, with Marvel. Yeah, they're in fucking and trouble. Disney and whatnot. Uh, and then they made a really good movie because of it. They did. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, so. But they everyone's like after a comic book series, right? But now they're like realizing, like Marvel did it really well, but Warner Brothers DC has not done so well, and at least except until for, recently. Except for Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman was yeah. yeah, it was great. Um, so yeah, they're all after that. I'm surprised that yeah, they're not all after some fantasy series. I mean, Warner Brothers. Yeah, Warner Brothers. But I don't want. It, I don't want the. I don't. I don't want the Wheel of Time to be films. It, it would be yeah. garbage as films because yeah. it, like there's way too much material. Right. It needs to be a series. Yeah. Like each each season could be a book, and like there's there's some that you could easily split up into to two. You right. could have it like so. Basically, I what is there? Fourteen books. There's a lot. There, right. There's a lot of fucking Wheel of Time. You could have like if 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 it catches like you just have to get the right people involved. Right. Bo- both on the producing and directing end, yeah. As well as you know, get some you know not necessarily. Because, like, there's a lot of people in Game of Thrones that, mm. you know, you've never heard of before the yeah. series. And there are some of the people that you think are fantastic now. Right. But you, it, but you there's, also, there's also people, you know, that you had seen before 
like like a Sean Bean. <laughs> yes. One does not simply <laughs> die in the first season. Uh, oh, sorry to tell you, Sean. <laughs> um, yeah, well, but here's here's the thing about Wheel of Time, right? Um, I, Stephanie has read a bunch of them. You've you read. She's a bunch read of them. them all, hasn't she? Um, she every time a new one came out, she they, because especially towards the end, they started to be so far. Um, apart from apart, each other, she started trying to reread the entire series, and so I don't know if she's ever read all of them because she kept trying. And now they're all out, and so now I think she's theoretically making her way through it the last, the final time. But she never sits down to read it. I think because it's it feels like an obligation at this point. She wants to finish reading it, but um, like I mean, uh, a, a, a friend of ours, mm. uh, uh, John, not your brother, John, yeah. and not John, the guy that you picked up at the airport, John, <laughs> different John, different John, has read the whole series, and he yeah. said it was a satisfying cl- conclusion. Yeah, well, and so what I would say, and as the as the average um, person with no taste who like as Joe average, like I've tried to get into various series, or at least been open to somebody pitching me about these things, but none of them have grabbed me um, in the way that Game of Thrones grabbed me. Right, like a lot of these, right in the cock, <laughs> a lot of these other ones. Uh, and even Game of Thrones has its problems. As I'm reading through the the first book, and I got to the first chapter from uh, Daenerys' perspective, and her brother is there. I, I had completely forgotten about her brother. And then I remembered when I first started watching the HBO series, which was when it was two or three seasons in. Um, everyone else was watching it. I was way behind. But I started watching it. And what almost made me stop was Daenerys' brother. I just I hated him he so was, much. He was a shithead. He was um, a shitty person. Uh, he's a shitty person, and the actor um, just played up the shittiness, and there was nothing redeeming about him at all. He found no way to make that a, that a human being. Um, and I don't know. I think a lot of these fantasy series have that problem. Is there something that's going to keep the average person from, uh, from signing up? I don't know. Uh, and... I don't know what it is that Game of Thrones did differently, except there's not a ton of different races. Um, there is a, a certain amount of um, language and concepts and things that aren't familiar, but a lot of it is like sitting down and watching um, a period piece, at least at the beginning. And you don't get it's so fucking it's, it's zom- red everywhere. What's that? It's like a red wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that could be a t- <laughs> but period piece, red wedding. Um, yeah, no, that, that, I think there's. I think there was long. one a little bit further back. Um, <laughs> what, I think the potato man. Maybe? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know. I that's the pro. I see where you're coming from with like. There's a lot of stuff out there that should be adapted, but I think it takes the right group of people to figure out what's the what's the central element of this that's important. Um, that's going to grab a general audience. Like Iron Man was was a kind of shitty comic book, but John Favreau and Robert Downey Jr. got together and they figured out what made Iron Man possibly interesting to a uh, general audience, and they made an awesome film. And the rest is history, right? Like you know, the, every once in a while, there's an eccentric billionaire that you don't think is a complete shithead. <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while, um, it doesn't happen often. Um, I mean, he's not he's not a nice person. He's not a nice person, but but he there are levels to him. He, he he's like an onion. He's like he's like an ogre. Ogres are like onions. Tony Stark's like an ogre. Ah, uh, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the other adaptation that has recently been announced that mm. I have not mentioned up until this point, mm. uh, because um, my favorite uh, my favorite manga series uh, is experiencing its twentieth year anniversary yes. uh, this 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 summer. Um, there was an announcement uh, mm. at the at the celebration in in Japan that there was going to be a a live action series based on based on One Piece. One Piece. One Piece. The live action series. Now, how do you feel about this, Steve? <sighs> I, I I'm glad it's not a movie. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it's right. they've decided to to go into a, a series. Yeah, because uh, but and then I started looking back at uh, at at 
like anime adaptations, mm. mm-hmm. like anime live action adaptations. Yeah. And I could not, for the life of me, think of one <laughs> that was any good. Yeah. That, which is troubling for you. You always want to think, well, maybe this will finally be the one, but with the track record being what it is. And I, uh, I, so I've much. I've heard that uh, okay, so like a big example of of shitty adaptations mm. of source material is yeah. is Dragon Ball Evolution, which mm. is the the Dragon Ball movie, <laughs> um, which does have a uh, Spike from uh, Buffy in it as as King Piccolo, because <laughs> that's the villain you should have chose. Sure. Um, <sighs> <laughs> That that movie is universally panned, and like yeah. there's there's nobody that that I don't think there's anybody that that unironically likes that movie. <laughs> and and I I remember going to see it just because fuck it why not right I, I saw that movie in the theaters I was one of the few, <laughs> and I was like fuck it is not good it was not good yeah. and and I think and I've heard. Mm. Uh, I don't know if this is actually true, but Akira Toriyama, the the person that that uh, that writes Dragon Ball and mm-hmm. uh, and and has has drawn it, and has uh, is the person that uh, that does all the artwork for the Dragon Quest series, yeah. like you know, and um, the Chrono Trigger and mm-hmm. a bunch of other shit, right? Um, you know, very established and uh, well respected manga. Mangaka, as they mm-hmm. call them, in uh, over the over the uh, ocean, over the seas. I don't want to say over the pond because, like, usually you're referring to Great Britain. Yeah, over the pond and and over and and, and then over the some meadows, more and then and like, well, like, normally I think you would just travel like, across the west. meadows. Yeah, just, just travel west and then you know oh, go okay. over that pond, the other pond, ah, okay. to get to Japan, <laughs> Pacific Pond, Pacific Pond. Uh, he he was like. The reason why he created Battle of the Gods, mm-hmm. which was a, a recent like uh, anime adaptation of of, uh, of something, or yeah. no, or well, it, it was a, a an anime movie of, of Dragon Ball again, mm-hmm. and he he was like, we need to we need to get wash fucking Dragon Ball Evolution out of our <laughs> mouths and have something that people yeah. actually like again. And the Battle of the Gods was great. It was right. a, it, you know, it was fucking. Well, there's there you know there's talk out there. The um, they announced that instead of there being a a Flash, the so Flash is one of the DC Warner Brothers characters, right? Uh, instead of there being sort of a Flash solo movie, there's going to be a movie called Flashpoint. Uh, now, I'm not a big DC Comics person, so I may get this wrong, but I was just reading an article about it, and one of the things that happened at the end of Flashpoint in the comics is that Flash, in trying to alter history, basically reset the whole. Um, DC Universe, uh, and and it resulted in a thing called the New Fifty Two, which was their uh, the way that they did their lineup for for a couple of years afterwards. And so there's conjecture, there, there's rumor out there about the notion that this would be a way to get rid of Ben Affleck, to get rid of um, all the parts, the, the Suicide Squad, get rid of all that shit that didn't do well, and just keep Flash and Wonder Woman because apparently she's going to be, be part of it. I don't know if any of that is true, but you certainly get the sense that they're willing to do that shit in certain places and not willing to do it in others. Like Marvel has taken their, for, for good or ill, like they've put out bad movies, but they just sort of, they're not trying to erase any of those. They just, it's all part of the continuity. Um, and I don't know, I kind of respect that approach more than something like fucking Highlander. I remember back in the day, like, uh, a Highlander. It seemed like every movie, every TV series, they had to try. They and... only had one TV series and one, or well, they had several movies. Well, they had but... several movies, but like, so there was the first movie, which everybody, I think it was, it was universally, it was everybody gave it a liked, thumbs up, if not loved. Yeah, but then the second movie tries to introduce this whole alien uh, subplot, and then there's like a different version of the second movie, which tries, to, and it's all fucking bullshit. And then there's. And a, like people, do, people basically say the second Highlander movie didn't happen. Yeah, it, it, and it's it, you know, and they've done the same thing with Terminator, and it's it's just sort of like that's that's the sort of fatigue that I sense when people talk about sequel fatigue and reboot fatigue and all of these things. Um, 
I just feel like, you know, what I hope to see, and I'm a total Marvel fanboy here, um, is that when they retire Robert Downey Jr. and Tony Stark and Iron Man, they don't ever try, um, at least for the foreseeable future, to do another movie about fucking Tony Stark and, and Iron Man. They've got other people who have been Iron Man. They've got a character right now, um, a young uh, black woman, uh, MIT student, who is a really interesting character that they could... Like- in be, in the comics, in the right comics now. that okay. could be your next Iron Man. You know, there are tons of people who have Do been. Do you think Captain they would? They would have her have like uh, like the uh, uh, <laughs> iron breastplate. I, like, I I don't know if they there would be an iron breastplate, but you know, I, I'm just saying. Got to make it sexy for for all the the schlubs in their in their basements, <laughs> all the gamer gators. I I <laughs> just all I'm trying to say is that I feel like. That is the path to go. I feel like even the, though I didn't... The body pillow havers. Even though I did not necessarily love um, uh, Mad Max Fury Road, that feels like the right angle to go at where it's kind of like they're not deliberately trying to tell you none of the other movies happened. They're just like, here's Max and here's this story that Max is involved with um, and there you go. Like, Is he mad? I... I don't know. He seems he seems uh, somewhat perturbed. In, uh, in so so I I mean I think everybody that that's ever been a fan of One Piece has, mm. has, uh, has said recently. Yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic <laughs> about the the new live action series because mm-hmm. it's not gonna like its popularity is not gonna go away in Japan. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, its popularity in the United States has has uh, has gotten. It, it, it has risen in right. the, in the, the last couple of years. I mean, this this past winter we had the uh, the film Gold mm-hmm. like theater release right. with the so, <gasps> people. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I mean, like, so there there are people that are interested in the series, mm-hmm. like regardless of uh, of the uh, of the live action series. Right. If the live ja- live action series is is a complete dud, mm-hmm. then the only thing that will happen is that. People will be like, "Oh, One Piece is still the thing that I like, and, mm. and I'm going to try to infect people with it, like because right. I, I, I've actually <laughs> success semi semi successfully uh, infected somebody with the One Piece bug at work. <laughs> I let him borrow um, uh, the first couple of volumes. Yeah, and uh, he he had been you, reading. You spread the the virus. He 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 uh, he had been reading them to and from uh, work on the train." Mm-hmm. Because uh, he takes the commuter rail, and yeah. and and, and uh, he's he's uh, he's I think he's on volume uh, maybe twenty now. Mission so, accomplished. So he's he's a, he's a you know you know th- I, I'm a one quarter pi- a quarter of the way through the series. I'm one piece immune. We have discovered, but you know it's it, it's good that you found somebody. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I might try you again someday. <laughs> it's that it's that I can't read manga. Like I I did because it's backwards. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't. I can't. But, it. Or is it because of the panel layout is backwards, or is I, it just I, that I yeah the panel layout is backwards, the page um, stuff is backwards. I couldn't get a grasp on like so when I read you know obviously I can read the first page, but then when I flip to the next page, right? I don't know whether I'm supposed to read the right hand page first or the left hand page first, and I don't know if I'm always supposed to read from right to left now instead it's of always left. right to left. And 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 am I reading? across the whole spread or am i reading just you could, you could say the same thing with with an american comic i know but i i've been taught to read from left to right my entire life so i get i get that it's a little bit con- con- confusing chris it's it's a little confusing and i'm an old man yes i'm not You're as old i'm old. not as old is this a segue? as as uh the goat the the foxborough goat the goat in foxborough what the, the the go to Foxborough, uh, otherwise known as Mr. Thomas uh, uh, Edward, Mr. Thomas Brady, uh, oh. who turned forty years old this week, Steve. Oh, he's a Leo. Dude, he Look turned, at that. He turned forty years old this week, Steve, and I am not as old as that bastard. You are slightly younger. <laughs> I am slightly younger than him, and I have slightly fewer uh, Super Bowl rings. <laughs> um, you have five less. <laughs> Um, exactly five less. Exactly five less. There was a uh, a photo op um, this week that I heard about where you could go and in front of the word uh, in front of the acronym goat 
there was an actual live goat that you could take a picture with down at Foxborough. Didn't what the fuck like the didn't the Cubs already prove that like goats and like sports <laughs> equal <laughs> curse? Well, hey, fucking I think Brady's on the cover of Madden um this year. So we already got a curse going. We're for already us. fucked. It's 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 all Oh, we're over. already fucked. We only got five Super Bowls we only in get the last five, 20 yeah. years. I don't know. He's got to get another five. <laughs> I'm greedy. Come on. Um no, I I think I think if he got one more, he'd be done. He I, I, he already ha- he should already be. No, moving. no. He he wants to play till his till his mid forties. He said that. So like forty five. So you it, it, playing, is, it, is, it is possible for him to get five more. He Super could Bowl. get five more. He needs to start right now. <sighs> <laughs> and when he breaks his leg because he's on the cover of fucking Madden, he's gonna have to hope that Jacoby Brissett or whoever the fuck the other guy is, um, that one of those guys are gonna lead the team. To the Super Bowl, so Tom can be on the bench but still get his his sixth ring. And then next year, don't be on the fucking cover of Madden again. And now you can just you know win the next four. Well, I, I imagine they get a lot of cash to be on the cover of Madden. Probably. Does he need a lot of cash though? I, I, mean, I at this point, I don't think so. I, yeah, I would hope. Like, not. I, like his wife probably pulls in more than he does. I would imagine. Yeah, or at least she used to. I don't. Who knows if she. Um, I haven't seen like you know. I obviously I know who, know who she is, but um, and it's not like I follow her career closely. But I, Giselle, um, Bunch- doesn't seem like she's as Bunchin. Bunchin doesn't seem like she's as active as as she sort of used to be. Well, she's she's older. She's older, but not old. Yeah, I know, but you know, he's old. <laughs> I mean, obviously, in our society, you know, we discard our uh, unattractive women <laughs> <laughs> because because they bleed. Yeah, no, because, they don't bleed anymore. Because oh, right, no, oh, so how does that factor into the whole Russian thing? It doesn't. It, and, and the and the red and the it, I, my my theory is going out the window. I don't know. How do you feel about having a forty year old quarterback for your for your football franchise? I mean, it's fine. Like, I'm glad that there's a sports uh, star that is older than me. Mm. I am too. I mean, because like uh, when David Ortiz retired, mm. uh, like this past season, I'm like, oh, there's another Red Sox that that's that's older than me that's gone. That's, that's gone, yeah. Uh, I think most of the team, if not all of it, at this point, has is younger than me. Ugh. Ugh. And, and I don't like that. And it's weird because like I remember watching, you know, back in college or whatever, and being like, oh, these guys that are you know older than me are yeah. playing ball. And now, you know, freaking 10... They're all fucking younger than us. I don't... 10, I don't, 12, 13 years later, I'm like, oh, these kids that are playing the ball game. How are they... How is that allowed? I don't know. I just like... How is it allowed that, that athletes are better when they're younger? <laughs> yes. How is it allowed? I it's want, ageism. There I should be more old crotchety I fucks in want anybody, baseball. I, I don't want anybody to be, young, to be younger than me. <laughs> I, I, I just don't. I, I mean, it's my, unsurprising that people are more athletically inclined when they're younger. Chris <laughs> might, might be. Oh. Um, I, it's, you know, I hope he does well. I, you know, I, I hope his career. Is yeah, me not, too, because he plays for the team that we root for. Yes, I, there are other people who are like, and he surprisingly won the Super Bowl last he year. He did. Yeah, well, he didn't win it. Who, who, uh, who, who? No, that last year was not. Um, Oh, who? What the fuck happened at the end of last? Uh, last I didn't game? watch most of the end of the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, because we were like, oh, we're gonna fucking lose. Yeah. So let's just because we're up in uh up in Amesbury visiting yeah. uh, some friends. Right. And then we're like, fuck this. And so we drove home. And as yeah. we're on the way home, we see a one of those uh, those uh, billboards that had the score. Yeah. And then you turn back. And it was tied up. And then we got back here and turned on the TV. And then we won the Super Bowl a couple of seconds later. I See, I can't remember the end of last of of this year's. I remember the one a couple years ago. When when, it was like, because we were watching it together. we were watching it together. Yeah. But I'm I'm having fun. And then we had our amazing prediction. (laughs) We did. It was so fucking weird that we predicted that score. Yeah, Well, you predicted it. I I I, I should not take credit. Yeah. I mean, I am a fucking seer. You are. (laughs) Not a steer, a seer. I mean, I didn't say steer. I know, I know. I, I, I heard for a second steer, and I was like, oh, he's, he's a cow. No, don't have a cow, man. What are you, Bart Simpson, dude? Uh, I, I had, um, uh, I had a shirt. I don't know if I still have it. It might be packed away somewhere. Don't have a tea party, man. Back when they had all those sorts of uh, unauthorized merchandise, um, where the, where the real m- money of the movie gets made. Not really. 
Um, merchandising, merchandising. Um, all right. So we had like one, we had like another thing on, on the list here, but we only have like uh, six minutes left. Um, what was the other was, thing was, on the was, list? It was like horror movies in general. We kind of talked about that, but, but we didn't talk about the specific ones. The you, you saw Suspiria and then you saw the big sick. That's not a horror movie. Big, big sick is not a horror movie or is it? No, it was a very it was a touching rom com oh. that I saw by myself oh. while I was waiting for uh, for for my uh, our, our good friend of the show Leo and and, and his uh, girlfriend to meet me in uh, Cambridge oh, okay. on Friday evening. Mm. And since I got out of work so goddamn early, yeah, I uh, went to the movies to mm-hmm. to pass some of the time, yeah. so I wasn't just dicking around and drinking the entire time while yeah, I was waiting that, for them to show up and being completely intoxicated <laughs> before by the time they, they even got there. Yeah, because like you know, when you have to kill f- two and a half hours and you're drinking the entire time, you're pretty much cocked. <laughs> was the it was a touching rom com, so it was good. Yeah, it was great. Like who's in that? Uh, Kumail Nanjiani. Um, hmm. uh, uh, he's a stand up comedian. Okay, he's uh, he's pretty pretty funny dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Ray Romano was in it, uh, yeah. playing his girlfriend's dad. Basically, the plot of the movie is he's he you know he's a stand up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it's based on his real life. Okay, yeah. Uh, he's a stand up. He uh, he's trying to date Ray Romano's daughter. Yes. <laughs> Oh my God! What are you doing, dating my daughter? <laughs> you fuck. Uh, he he's he's a stand up. He meets a girl. Yeah, they, they're they're together for a while, and then there's a little bit of a, a some problems that happen, and then mm. they break up, and then she she uh, gets sick, and mm. then goes into a coma. Ah. like a, a like an induced coma from the, like the ho- hospital oh, okay. induces the coma. Yeah to to uh to deal with with their sickness yeah and then he, he ends up like in the middle of this yeah like despite the fact that they just broke up like <laughs> and then like he's dealing with her parents and yeah. she's fucking unconscious and it's it's a great it's a great movie wow it's, it's, that sounds um depressing it's depressing it, it was really depressing it did make me cry oh <laughs> um but it was really great yeah. like yeah the, like everybody that is involved in the film does a great job and and, and tugs at the old heartstrings. So um, I would totally recommend seeing The Big Sick. Uh, I think like the rest of the world is on the same page as me. Yeah. Uh, I think Rotten Tomatoes gave it like I think it's like a ninety eight percent. Oh shit! Wow. So it's uh, I think most most critics and, and, and individuals like are are on board with yeah. with the fact that it's a really great film. Have you ever seen um, the uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, the Switch with Jason Bateman and Jennifer Aniston? No. Okay, so I when the, <laughs> when that came out, I had absolutely zero interest in in. Seeing and maybe it. we'll talk about horror movies some other time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in um, October when it's uh, when it's the time <laughs> when people are actually watching them. But I watched I watched it yesterday and uh, the the Dario Argento like mm. like that in like the 70s era like horror films mm. like that that genre and that style yeah um with the, like the incredibly like red mm. blood and mm. like the the way Commie I don't, blood. like it's weird because like and, and i said we're not going to talk about it but i fucking i'm talking about it <laughs> the like the way that the the uh it's funny because like like there's like it he's he's an Italian director mm-hmm. and so like the it's 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 dubbed into English and it's dubbed pretty well into English okay. mind you yeah. um and like the it's 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 just weird like when the when there's a lot of like conversation going on mm-hmm. it's it's he 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 doesn't seem to know as much how to do that but yeah. like when there's fucking crazy shit going on, yeah. like the direction is on point. Right. Like right. when there's fucking like someone getting killed, mm. like the way it's it's set up and then like the way they're killed or whatever. Yeah. And it's just it's fucking fantastic. Mm. And like and you're like, wow. So like, he knows you know, what he knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it might have been better in Italian. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, it usually is if you can if you can manage. That's what I remember friends of mine always saying, is especially with with anime or whatever. Is like watch it with watch it in Japanese or with subtitles instead of dubbed if you uh, if you can. But there are there, there are random 
well, it, 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 like it's not always true, but yeah. I, but I think a lot of times if you can read it in the original, uh, sorry, not read. I remember it, like watching it. like what was it, Rumble in the Bronx back in the day, and mm. and like it's funny because like the movie is obviously dubbed, yeah, but with the way their mouths are moving, mm-hmm. it seems like they're actually saying the things that they're saying. Oh, so it's Espe- it, it's a good, yeah. yeah, but. But it's 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 it, there's definitely it's definitely voiceover like right. they're, 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 it's not that's not like the audio that the the microphones are are are, are taking on yeah, on yeah. set so it's just it's really weird hmm. and and I don't know yeah but the, but like things like that like the 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 bad quote unquote bad dub hmm. of like a rumble in the Bronx which yeah. is which if you look at the fucking area that they're in is obviously Canada. <laughs> The um so anyway very, really quickly the reason I brought up um uh, sorry I went I took no, 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 no. <laughs> but I'll talk about I'll talk about uh my my favorite uh my horror movies we're just gonna tease that it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be October time for yeah yeah <laughs> after the move after, and after after my book and yeah oh yeah my your book slid. you can pl- plug the book why don't I sh- you I should plug the book um uh which is uh, missing Mr Wingfield if you have not uh, pre ordered it you can pre order it at clarkwitz and I was working on the cover this weekend uh. Sent it off to a friend to get some. Um, so some are, are they are they pre ordering a digital copy copy um, or right now or a physical a, copy? Right now the physical copy is the one that's up there. The digital copies I'm going to get up for pre order as soon as I can, uh, and those that all be through the individual stores because it's way easier. Like I've tried to do digital copies through my website. And it, it's just maybe it's this book a, is going to take off, and then like you'll, ha- you'll, you'll be doing book signings. And uh, I would, I would love to be. And then I'll be there. To, yeah. To to remind people that you also do a podcast. That I also do a podcast called Horribly Off Topic. <laughs> the reason I brought up so buy my book. Um, I, I we should we should, I, buy we should, my book. <laughs> we should talk. I I really love this book, and I, I'm afraid nobody's going to read it. And and I want to talk more about it, but we're, we're over time now. Um, what do you mean overtime? We were a fucking two hour episode <laughs> like two weeks ago. Jesus Christ, we can go five minutes over. But but I wanna I wanna bring it back to the reason I brought up that dumb movie, because I want to close that loop. So the switch, which I, I had no interest in. The I, Nintendo Switch? <laughs> is a, uh, Jason Bateman and and Jennifer Aniston. Um, and uh, as it turns out, uh, Jeff Goldblum, I did not realize, uh, also in this movie. Um I was listening to an episode Jeff of... Jeff Goldblum does not make a good movie, or does not a good movie make. <laughs> um, I, was, I was listening to a podcast, uh, I think it was the New Yorker Fiction Podcast, um, where they read a story by the author Jeffrey Eugenides called Baster, and I discovered that Baster, the short story, was the basis for The Switch. Um, and now I want to see it, even though I've heard it's not a great adaptation um, of uh, of the short story because the short story is hilarious and and also sad um, and and wonderful and all the things a short story can be, which brought me back to another thing I was thinking earlier, which is that um, novels should almost always be mini series or series, in my opinion, and the best movies are made out of things like short stories. Because a short story and a movie are meant to be viewed and or read in one sitting. And a wow, novel, you're wrapping up a lot of fucking loose ends. A lot of here. threads. I just, I just, I, I can't leave anything, uh, anything. I just, before I plug my book one more time, I just want to show people buy that my I, book that I know what I'm talking about. No, it's a really fucking good book, and I'm, I'm, I'm terrified that. A, What's the name of it again? Missing Mr. Wingfield. M- wing, Winfield. Wingfield. Wing. Wing. Like the big wing, Subasa. And I, this, the offer is still out there that if you can guess what that title is a reference to, I said this weeks ago, and nobody's taken me up on it. I will give you a free copy of. The, I'm not going to do it. So book. at least uh, so somebody some, can. somebody else can do it, because I I apparently know, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I like I totally. I'm afraid I'm not going to get it done in time because I'm putting this out on my own, um, and uh, I'm afraid no one's going to read it. But fucking get out there and read it, dick shits. <laughs> You can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash one five eight. And if you'd like to uh, send us an email about all the many things we got wrong today, um, including uh, reds and I think those extra four ounces of beer really made a difference in my (laughs) intoxication state. (laughs) You can send the emails to hot at clarkwoods.com or you can tweet us. I'm at ECC 1977. And I'm at Tuesday is loser. 
That's, That's Tuesday, <laughs> IS, loser, all one word. And Steve promises to drink three beers before he answers any of your tweets. <laughs> no, I don't promise that at all, because that would be a really bad idea. Why? No, you're, fu- you're, fu- oh, you're funny drunk. Yeah, it's great when I'm writing things that you know, like the whole world can see. Mm. I mean, it's one thing for because like people would have to listen to like most of the show, or if not all of the show, to see the, to, to hear, hear all the, the crazy things that I or say. to hear the crazy thing you're going to say in like tw- ten seconds. I'm not. I'm going to have a minute. 